More and more industries are adopting Microsoft HoloLens for manufacturing applications, design in the construction industry, healthcare, and defense. Nancy Lee is part of the AI Perception and Mixed Reality team at Microsoft. She explains how their self-contained holographic computer is driving digital transformation in companies. And you think of the scenarios, it's really kind of fivefold. There's a, the 3D design and visualization uh, and the need for people to uh, visualize in 3D and more accurately and more efficiently being able to uh, uh, understand the products that are designing and accelerating that process. Car companies, for example, are adopting the HoloLens technology to decrease the life cycle of producing new car models. Because in the past, traditionally, when you design a new car, uh, you have to then, once you design it on a 2D screen uh, with a 3D CAD model, you then have to hire a clay technician to build out an entire clay model of the car. Uh, and then that clay model, a few tons of clay, has to be shipped around the world to all of their teams to do design verification. You can imagine now that that gets accelerated with holographic compute, where people just visualize around the world, remotely collaborate and, design ver uh, and do design verification for car models uh, remotely uh, and in 3D. AI engineers are now involved in the HoloLens journey. The new goal for the company is changing the VR paradigm. If you think of the first part of our charter of mixed reality is to uh, bring digital, tech, digital information and digital world to a physical world. The second part of our charter is AI perception. And what it means is we're graduating the technology and the capabilities we have on the HoloLens uh, that have the real world perception capabilities and graduating that so that any kind of machines in the world in the future, any IoT devices, will be able to understand reality as well. Uh, and then all the machines will be able to see things, will be able to hear things. HoloLens is accelerating the next phase of 3D computing. Could this mark the end of the smartphone? As it becomes more and more prevalent, you can imagine the technology, uh, the form factor will become much more lighter, like what you have on your face today as a normal glasses in the future. It, when, when it gets to that phase, everybody will be wearing the glasses. You can imagine the next phase of after it become like the glasses on your eyes, will be contact lenses. Uh, and there's technology uh, patents out there that already are in that phase uh, looking at things like that.